Hi there, David Taylor on Mr. Pelagonium, back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, today, I'm just going to whisk through fairly, fairly quickly just to give you a few tips and tricks to keep your plants through this, well, in the UK, ridiculously warm weather that we're getting at the moment. Um, lots of damp as well, causing all kinds of issues. So let's get going. Hi there, well it's good to see you again. Uh, it's always a relatively quiet time of year. Um, filming this on the 10th of November, Thursday the 10th of November. It's, it's, it's generally a sort of quiet time. It's that time before we get to, uh, well, that sort of mid-winter time when I actually have to stop my regals. I have to give my regals a bit of a clip back for the shows very early. I usually do mine at around about the end of December, and that is only about six weeks or so away now. Um, makes it uh, Christmas seem very soon, that does, doesn't it? I know a lot of Western Europe uh, is getting really unusual, unusually warm weather for the time of year. We're getting day temperatures still around the 16 degree mark. It was a little cooler last week, but this week has been ridiculously warm. 16, 17 during the day, Day, uh, night temperatures not falling below about sort of 12, 13 degrees centigrade, uh, which is ridiculous really for the middle of November. Uh, I mean, still to date, I think I've had my heater on once, which is really unusual for this time of year. Potentially good, of course, because we're, we're trying to save some money with the cost of um, doing electric heating now. Um, now the southwesterly sort of or southerly winds that we're getting are bringing a lot of moisture and that is causing a lot of sort of potentially damping issues uh, and we d we'll have a look at a couple of those th sorts of things today just to keep an eye out for sort of damping off leaves uh, any damping off blooms you may have uh, another thing is getting the watering right because i'm having an absolute nightmare in trying to get the watering right because they uh, a good number of my plants particularly the zonals are still drinking. I'm having to water some of them still twice a week, which is really unusual. So let's have a look at some of the problems that we're getting with all this ridiculously mild and very, very damp weather. So this is one of my uh, dwarf zonals. It's a Colin Martin. Um, it's grown on quite well, but it's got a little bit of a rotted stem. Now I've let this dry out. So it's got one or two yellowing leaves. Uh, but I did see a stem on it that had just begun to rot back. So the telltale signs are that you'll get these potential leaves at the top that are just totally faded off. There's no life in that whatsoever and yellowed. So you just nip that. And then you can see here, this is rotted back. Uh, just, I think what that is, it's a flower bloom. One of these that I've just broken off little bit of damp's got in there and that's begun the rot process and that now has got to be cut back so, and just underneath we've got a nice little clean break i'm not overly concerned if you know it, it's it's potentially a plant that i was earmarking for exhibition but just underneath we've got a lovely clean break and it is a lovely breezy dry day today dryness is something that we've not had a lot of and I'm just going to cut that entire stem off there. And there we are. That's nice and clean. And the glass house after this video will be opened up uh, to dry that off. The plant is dry, though. I wouldn't potentially do this until, I, until the plant was very dry. So it's important to keep your eye out for that. But there we have this. Uh, let's see if I can home in on that. And there it is, that is completely rotten. So I've cut that down. Thankfully, it's not gone too far. Um, it's literally just the top part that's affected. But I've gone down a node, gone down to the next leaf joint node and cut that off. So that's the sort of thing that you've got to look, look out for. Anything with where you say, taking a bloom off. Something that you can do as well. I don't really want the energy of the plant to go into blooming. So what I'm going to do there 
just nip off the bloom and that will begin the rot back process on that. But um, once it begins to die back, you should find it easy then just to pull back and take out once it's begun to die back. So that's something you can do because as I've always said, I do not want the strength of the plant uh, going into blooming now. So uh, I'm just going to take, just cut the tips of these blooms off. But I'm not going to snap them back because clearly that this issue here was caused by snip, snipping a bloom off. So that's something to look out for. Now something else that you can just keep an eye out for is the rotting leaves. Uh, and we can see one here that's just begun to rot back. Um, and it's a simple question of just snapping that back. Not too difficult. But we can clearly see that that's just, you know, just rotting back. It's got damp in it. Perhaps a wound, perhaps. Uh, it just maybe begun to snap back. Uh, we've actually got another one in there. Look, I'll just take off. Uh, it's always good to inspect underneath. It's fairly clean underneath. One or two stipules there that I probably could have done with getting back. Uh, getting off rather. Um, got another one there. Again, this is all to do with the fact that we're perhaps not getting enough air around the uh, stems. Now this was stripped, but again, because of the fact that we're getting this ridiculously mild weather, the plant's still growing. And it's, you know, the leaves are still growing, which is in itself more or less unusual. Um, but there we are. I've just cleared that out a bit. I might take a leaf off there and one down there just to open it up a bit more. And that's the sort of thing, any sort of stipules, these stipules are quite dry, but um, it's important with this damp weather to, uh, you know, strip off anything that's showing any sign of rotting down. So there we are, that, these are the zonals. Now exactly the same thing is happening with regals. Um, now the only difference with the regals, of course, is that they continue to grow fairly strongly. Uh, but there's a, a yellow leaf that I've just taken out. Got another one in there. Uh, we can potentially take a few more of these out. These were, would have been stripped a few weeks back. Uh, I've got another one around here somewhere that I did spot. Yeah, I've got a couple in here. But the main difference with the regals is that they do continue to grow. That's all that marking is there is when I uh, wash the um, the whitewash off my glass house. There's bits got inside and drip. But that's not doing too bad. That's a Zofia Pope that's coming on quite nicely. But again, you will get the odd leaf just beginning to die back. Uh, but you need to strip them off. But as I said, the main thing is that the regals continue to grow, so they're putting a little bit more effort into uh, growing, and they also don't suffer so much from botrytis, unless you potentially got some white fly. Um, I've had white fly on a number of my regals this autumn. Now this one had quite a bad attack of white fly, and I've got rid of it all now. Uh, but you can see the sort of problems that we get. I can snap that off, actually, I didn't need my knife. Uh, they secrete this sweet, sticky substance that the um, that potentially ants like to harvest. And, you know, it potentially gets all over leaves and it can produce mildew and uh, fungus problems and all kinds of things. There's a few. See, we've got plenty of them there. This is all just, just damp. I mean, it, the leaves do continue to grow on regals, but um, this just needs to be cleaned up a bit. So, yes, keep an eye out for pests and disease. Again, this really, really mild weather is um, making green fly and white fly very prevalent still in the UK. We could do with some really, really hard frosts uh, to get rid of them. Now, if you've got bloom, this is the sort of th problem that you can get in very damp conditions. And this now needs to be taken off because this is full of botrytis. Uh, I've got to be very careful, though, how I do it. 
This is on a young standard. Got a few stipules there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the um, on the stand here and we'll look at this together as I've got a problem here. Now this is probably one that I didn't fuss about too much because it was pretty open. But we got quite a few dead and dying stipules on the here. So I'm just going to take these off. It really is... Uh, knowing what to do best with this one because I need to get rid of this head but potentially leave as little collateral damage as possible so I'm going to just slice that off um, and let this start to just rot back. It is, the plant is actually in a place that I pass every day so I can keep a, a good eye on that. There's not a great deal of body to this yet. It's a young um Bold cherub, I think that is, looking at the bloom. Yes, it's a young bold cherub standard. Uh, I will nick that leaf off just to get some air getting into this head. We've got a slightly rotting leaf there, which I'll just take off. And there we got this, re this reveals now uh, just a couple of stipules. Now what I'm going to do with this one, I am going to just dab this with a bit of yellow sulphur. Because just on the top here, hopefully you can see that, just a little bit of botrytis just getting onto that stem. So I'm just going to dab a bit of um, yellow sulphur on, on that. Another stipule there, just remove... So that's a little bit of a tidy up. I probably almost certainly didn't do this one um, about a month or so ago. A little dab of the old yellow sulphur. Uh, it's easy to get hold of this stuff. Never put enough on, it won't hurt it. Just helps um, keep the plant free of the botrytis. So there we are. But I need to keep an eye on this stem that I, where I've just cut the uh, bloom uh, so that just when it begins to yellow that should easily then break off if I break it now there's going to be a lot of sap in this and it will cause the problem that we had with that first little zonal there where I've broken off the flower stem there's been moisture in there damp's got in begun to rot the uh, the uh, the block back where the stem's coming from uh, and it had to be nipped out. But I'm hopeful by just killing off that bloom. This now is effectively redundant, this little flower stem. And that will just begin to yellow back. And just as it starts to yellow back, that should easily be able to be broken off. So there we are really. It's just a, a few sort of little hints and tips to sort of get you through this autumn period. Um, particularly when we're having such really bizarrely warm weather in the UK. As I said, at this time of year, it's all about observation and keeping your eye out uh, on your plants uh, just to make sure that you don't get any of these problems associated with the damp conditions. So there we are. That's just about it from me today. I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.